All right, what I have in front of me, I like to call the billboard. So you know what that is if you've been watching for a long time. So let's get to this right now. That's right, we got Everglades in the house and uh, I love this color. This color is really nice, I'm not gonna lie. This color, I would own this color in a heartbeat. Sadly, it's exclusive to Everglades right now. Now, Everglades, let's just quickly, I'm not, everybody's beat this thing up, they've went through it. I'm not gonna like, you know, screw around with all the details. You're getting the uh, Ford Equip winch with the, uh, the winch bumper on there. Really nice, it is beefy. Now, some say, does it stick out a little too far for them actually use on the trail? maybe but if you look at the if you look at the angles the approach angles and stuff they're not that bad really i mean a normal winch bumper is going to come out to about the front of that that uh winch anyway so it's actually not that bad now you're getting exclusive wheels kind of a throwback wheel i have a feeling you're going to see some heritage edition stuff coming out so uh will this be on that who knows but it's a sasquatch package so you are getting those meaty 35s or uh, 34 lights as uh, some people call them the big thing with everglades besides the humongous badging snorkel look at that snorkel now i've been you know i've been critical of the snorkel because this right here it's an extra bend in that you had to do it because well you you know you want these mirrors attached to the vehicle well there you go you got to uh you got to go around it like that it doesn't look actually in person it's not that bad i do like the fact that you can switch if uh, you're in snow conditions let's let's throw this let's put the cover on it there's your cover, you just switch it out and you're getting your, your clean air that way, which is really, really nice. Most people think though that snorkels are for water. Now they tout this thing as, you know, water forging. And um, let's see, I have a feeling these are watermarks. I don't know for sure, but I have a feeling that's what those are is for, for so you, a fun way of knowing how deep you can go. I don't know. I have a feeling another channel, one of our friends are gonna really go into detail about that. But it is what it is, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's very, very well done. I can't say that this snorkel is not well done. Uh, big thing with this, this to me is an overlander package. I think they could have called it that and been done with it. Look at these big, now you're getting, it's a different style uh, rock slider. Or is it really, it's hard to, hard to tell. I don't know that this is a full out rock slider, but I do like these big meaty steps on it. These are, they're like what the Raptor has kind of, it's, it's that big meatiness to it. Um, but the color, snorkel getting this winch from the factory are all nice things now you're getting the four cylinder and once again one of our buddies over at wild outdoors bronco wild outdoors i think they're going to talk about why they think that you're only going to get the four cylinder in this thing but overall it's very nice let's see if they got it let's see if it, is it nobody to forge around here let's look is it open oh, it is open look at that now you know, Ford likes these exclusive colors. So you're getting this kind of uh, army green, I would say, something like that. Different looking seats. Uh, they are the, uh, the MGV seats. So, uh, you know, they can take a little bit of punishment with water. Now we're missing a hero switch. Hmm. Well, it's not a full Badlands, you know, so this is, it is its own package, but you're getting, it looks very similar to everything that you're used to. You're getting the hard top, um, no soft top for this one. Why? Because you got roof racks. And uh, you want to be able to use those roof racks for overlanding, whatever you want to do. And overall, I think this thing looks really, really cool. This, the fenders, Ford. This is how every Bronco should have came. I, I'm sure that is kind of an answer to, uh, to y'all's deal of like, well, people did like the square fenders of that classic look. I get why you don't do it on the others. You want bigger tires. We're already coming with 35s on this and so give them a little bit of that throwback look and uh i wish these would adapt to mine really badly cool thing with these fenders guess what look at all the little they come right off so that is nice so if you're out off-roading you need to take the fenders off you don't want to bash them up you can do that now there's nothing exclusive about the suspension on it just a normal badlands package but um overall this thing is really really nice all right so you can see everything's matching it uh, looks like the same sound system and everything. Nothing about the cargo space is changing this thing. So that is very nice. Uh, you know what to expect. I do like this. <sighs> oh, Ford. I wanted this so bad in mind. Like, I, I get it. It just took time. We're in, a, we're in a strange place with commodities now. But um, that table, that's metal, by the way. That is metal. You know, I thought it was going to be plastic. But listen. That is metal. I love the throwback to the tailgate. Uh, looks really, really cool. Let me know what you think. Overall, on this thing, I think for what you're getting, other, I'm not, a, I'm, the four cylinder is a lot of uh, power. 
So there, it's not like you, well, I can't get the 2.7 that uh, it's underpowered. I think it's a pretty good deal. Now, does this sell? I haven't heard any sales number from this or Raptor. So uh, till Ford lets us know, is it doing well? We don't know. Now they're supposed to be starting to ship soon. So if you have one on order, I'm telling you, Bronco in general is worth it. So uh, I'm a big fan of the Bronco. You guys know, I think uh, it's worth the wait. If you want this, it's probably definitely worth the wait for you because you're getting all this fun stuff. So comments, let me know. Whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, it does not matter what you drive. Well, it does today because I want to drive that really badly. It's been your all-terrain nation. We're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all. Uh, uh.